Looking for magic cards? Channel Fireball offers a wide selection of magic singles and sealed product. Use promo code LVD at checkout to get my personal token for free. Hello and welcome to another standard game video. Today we're taking a look at another standard 2022 deck with this rotation proof red white equipment deck as voted on by my supporters on Patreon. Built around Brain or Battlehammer, the 4 mana 5 3 legendary dwarf warrior introduced in Forgotten Realms that says each creature we control gets plus 2 plus 0 for each equipment attached to it, and we may pay 0 mana rather than pay the equip cost of the first equip ability we activate each turn. So Brainor is a great payoff card for the red-white equipment deck, which already had a lot of tools from the Zenikar Rising expansion, but now got even more powerful equipment in Forgotten Realms. And one of those equipments is Plate Armor at 3 mana, costs 3 mana to equip, but costs 1 less to activate for each other equipment we control. So it is very much possible to equip Plate Armor for free, and then the equipped creature gets plus 3 plus 3 and has Ward 1, so it can counter any spells or abilities that target the creature, unless the opponent pays 1 extra mana. So both Plate Armor and Brainer incentivize us to play plenty of cheap equipment, so Brainer can give multiple plus 2 plus 0 bonuses, and so we can move around the Plate Armor more easily. And to that end, we've got a full playset of Boots of Speed at 1 mana, costs 1 mana to equip, and the equipped creature gets plus 1 plus 0 and has Haste, which is also a very nice keyword alongside Battle Hammer, as we can potentially play Brainer and then equip the Boots of Speed for free thanks to the ability and attack for 8 damage. And then at 1 mana we also have the full playset of Leather Armor, which may seem like a weak card, which may not even be playable in Limited, but still makes its way into this deck by being a cheap equipment that plays well alongside our other cards, and then costs 0 mana to equip, but we can only activate this once each turn, and the equipped creature gets plus 0, plus 1, and has Ward 1, so it doesn't increase any of our creature's power, but alongside Brainer, of course, still increases the creature's power by 2, and also makes our plate armor cheaper, and just has a ton of great synergy throughout the deck. And then taking a look at some of our creatures, at 1 mana we've got the full playset of Fireblade Charger, a 1 mana 1-1 one, one Goblin Warrior, and as long as it's equipped it also has haste, and when a charger dies it deals damage equal to its power to any target, which is also a very relevant ability, especially once we start pumping its power with our various equipment. Then at 2 mana we also have the full playset of a Dancing Sword as another powerful equipment introduced in Forgotten Realms, equips for just 1 mana and gives the equipped creature plus 2 plus 1, and when the equipped creature dies we may have Dancing Sword become a 2-1 construct artifact creature with flying and ward 1, and if we do it's no longer an equipment, so that's a very nice ability if the opponent casts a sweeper and we would otherwise be out of creatures to equip, we will still have that 2-1 to put our other equipment onto. Then at 2 mana we also have two copies of Dwarf Holt Champion, a 3-1 that as long as it's equipped gets plus 0 plus 2, and it's also a warrior which is a relevant creature type, as that will synergize with our core Blade Master, a 2 mana 1-1 one, one core warrior with double strike, saying equipped warriors we control have double strike, and all the creatures in our deck are warriors, including Brainor, so that can also represent a ton of extra damage. And then at 3 mana, besides plate armor, we also have the full playset of Akiri Fearless Voyager, a 3-3 legendary core warrior, saying whenever we attack a player with one or more equipped creatures, we get to draw a card. So very powerful card draw engine in this deck, and we can pay a white mana to unattach an equipment from a creature we control, and if we do, that creature becomes tapped and it gains indestructible until end of turn. So that's a nice defensive ability that synergizes very nicely with our free equipment, like a leather armor that we can still re-equip easily, or maybe a plate armor if we have plenty of equipment in play. And then we also have a one-off copy of Maul of the Skyclaves to give the equipped creature plus 2 plus 2 flying and first strike and attaches to a creature right away once we play it and then equips for 4 mana or hopefully for free if we have a Brainer in play. And then last but not least, a singleton copy of Nahiri, which does become more powerful with the minus 3 ability dealing damage to target creature or planeswalker, equal to twice the number of equipment we control. So now that the deck has plenty of cheap equipment, that ability is also going to get better. Then the plus 1 makes a 1-1 one, one core warrior creature token that we can attach an equipment we control onto it. And the minus 2 lets us take a look at the top 6 cards of our library to reveal a warrior or equipment card to put into our hand. And then taking a look at our mana base, we also have two copies of Den of the Bugbear, which can turn into a 3-2 Goblin that when it attacks makes a 1-1 Goblin that's also tapped and attacking. And then we've got all 8 dual lands with a Snarl and the Pathway, and then 6 basic mountains and 8 basic plains. So that's our deck, now let's jump in some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the draw with a fine hand. 
hoping to pick up two lanes and then we're good to go. And there's one of them. Hold that in case of a snarl. Opponent with a den of the bugbear, so it could be an aggressive red deck, maybe goblins. We will have a champion with a lot of toughness here in a second. So we can currently block the captain if it stays a 3-1. And this curve of uh, Maul into Brainer is going to be quite powerful. Yeah, the Leather Armor was kind of the missing puzzle piece to this deck. Just makes the deck that much smoother, more difficult to interact with. And lets us curve out much better. Yeah, Hulking Bugbear, but her opponent can't attack. Boots of Speed is also tempting, because if I play the Boots, I'll be able to attack with a hasty Brainer next turn, although nah, I probably need the Evasion still. And then I could stay back, since we're holding off at the very least 6 damage. And then once we play Brainer, we can attack and then move Maybe the Maul on defense, so the opponent still won't be able to attack us. And Brainer will pump the champion by four as well. Bandit Lord pumps their goblins, but 5-6 says no attacks. Hmm. We could maybe set up a one-hit KO by just loading up this Dwarf Old Champion. Let's see, 5 equipment, that's plus 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 17, so almost. Yeah, playing Brainer is probably better here. Attack, and then we get to move one equipment for free. It's going to be the Maul. On to Brainer, and probably leave the armor there, although I could also put that on Brainer here. And next turn we have Lethal in the air. Battle Cry Goblin. Can set up a pretty scary attack, but definitely not a lethal one. Goblin times two, and yeah, opponent's just dead on board here. Can play out a couple more equipment, but just moving the armor to Brainer will give us an 11 powered attacker. So it's that simple. Sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a fine hand. Turn one boots of speed, and then hope to draw an extra land or two along the way. Going on blue black, there's a land. I'll go for the dwarf old champion here. The most unassuming of our two drops. And then next turn I could equip it with the boots, play Blade Master, which represents the most damage. Because if I play Blade Master, equip Blade Master, I'm hitting for 7, whereas if I equip here, I'm hitting for 8. And we also pump Toughness, which could matter. Poison a cup or champion. Alright. I guess I'm liking second blade master and equip.
Ah, Crippling Fear will wipe the board. So really hoping for land here. Dancing Sword instead. I'll play Akiri. It's too bad we don't get to attack with it and draw a card. But if we draw land 4 I can also, I guess, equip Brainer for free, so we would have just killed the opponent had we drawn a land last turn. Now they might have a counter spell available too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is saw it coming. But I mean they're not gonna counter a dancing sword, so. Ensure a disruption instead. That one's even more painful, because they might still have a counter spell in exile. All right, it was a Behold the Multiverse instead. Well, we just need to draw some creatures. And any creature we draw is going to be an immediate threat. Especially now with the plate armor that we can equip for free. Another card foretold. So, can expect to face a couple counter spells here. Can pay for Jory Disruption at least. And resolves, equip this for free. And a Soul Shatter takes out Brainer. Another Behold the Multiverse. Keeps two on top. Professor Onyx can plus, although opponent this shields down. So if we draw a creature, they could be dead, unless they haven't played land yet and can keep up a counter spell. Alright, I guess they're dead. And we have to make sure to equip both boots, since a single boot would be a little uncomfortable here. And our opponent explodes. Sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a promising hand, assuming we can get to Brainor. I'll try it. Might have wanted to play Pathway there in case we draw Snarl, so I still have a Planes to reveal. And then play Champion Equip. And then if I draw lands, I can draw cards thanks to Akiri right away. Okay, so worst case scenario is they have a dragon's fire to kill Akiri. Frostbite doesn't do it. Alright. It's too bad. Would have been an interesting decision whether or not to move the armor to Akiri second main if they didn't have Dragon's Fire, because then they could have killed the champion with a Frostbite end of turn. But I digress for now. Could go Dancing Sword Equip. It's the most mana efficient play we can make. This is Mari command, maybe. Destroying my equipment. Dragon's Fire, if they have a big dragon in hand, could take out Champion. Opponent takes five. Alright, can play Brainor. 
might meet a counter spell or a removal spell. Plan is to probably attack first and then maybe move the leather armor. It's gonna be divide by zero. Opponent has to pay the ward. So they lost their treasure. And we can equip both for free. Make sure to equip the dancing sword first, otherwise we waste Brainer's ability. And then armor. So an 11 powered Brainer with ward 1. Not that easy for a blue-red deck to deal with. Golazeth is going to be on Shum blocking duty. Once we play Blademaster. And then we gotta maybe play around some removal here. I guess Dancing Sword, Equip Blade Master is reasonable. And do I want to move anything else? Maybe moving the Leather Armor. Let's see. Opponent has Magma Opus in the Graveyard, so if they have that Dragon Sweeper, they're gonna kill both my creatures anyway. This maybe plays around a cheaper removal spell like Frostbite a bit better. Or Prismari Command dealing 2 damage. And now both creatures are equipped with Dancing Swords, so we can turn those into creatures potentially. And there's a Prismari Command. Destroys the equipment and the creature. And expressive iteration. Okay, so if we draw an equipment, our opponent's dead. And that's an equipment. Equip that for free. Yeah, Brainer doesn't mess around. Sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the play, and our hand is missing a creature. Otherwise, it's pretty good. I think I'm still gonna keep. As soon as we find a creature, we'll be able to equip it for free with the leather armor. Plate armor only costs one mana to equip once we have three equipment in play here. And Nahiri can eventually make a creature. So it's not like we don't have any creatures at all. Play the Snarl. And a Dancing Sword. So we will be able to play Nahiri on turn 4 at the very least. Opponent's green-white with Intrepid Outlander and there's a Charger off the top. So if I were to play Fireblade Charger, I can equip it with Dancing Sword and Leather Armor. So... It would have three toughness, so it could attack past Outlander. Although I'm kind of liking playing the Plate Armor here to be more mana efficient. And then next turn, maybe just play Nahiri. Although I could also play Charger and then equip it with all three equipments. Varys, the Silvery Moon Ranger, so opponent does have some Venture Synergies here. And score Blade Master, that's also an exciting draw. So now I'm kind of liking Blade Master plus Charger, which I can equip with, I guess, a Plate Armor. And then... I also get to equip the leather armor for free, which I'll probably put on the Blade Master. So that's 8 damage. And then next turn we can maybe play Nahiri. Wouldn't be able to kill Varys unless I draw an extra land because of the Ward 1.
Berwin can help them venture. So yeah, we're in a pretty good spot. Our creatures are bigger than the opponents, so they're gonna have to start jumping soon. Opponent makes a 1-1 as an extra chum blocker, which makes sense. And I can take 5 pretty easily. And Molo the Skyclaves is just game over here, isn't it? Well, that was easy. Dancing Sword for good measure. And yeah, that's 12 in the air. Opponent attacked with both of their Reach creatures. So that was a fast game. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with a fine hand. Turn one. Maybe go for the Boots of Speed. Turn two, charge or equip. Facing blue-green with an emergent sequence. Akiri, a nice draw too. Next turn I'll be able to draw a card when the charger attacks. And thanks to the ability it can usually attack unopposed even if the opponent has a larger blocker out. Lotus Cobra into a land. Three mana available. Another sequence, okay. Two more mana to spend. Ooh, Brainor's nice. Can't even give him haste with the boots. Opponent does have access to a lot of mana here. So hopefully don't have to face something like Koma. Ooh, Skewed Swarm is also very good against us. Only if they want all the Skyclaves to fly over. And brute forcing our way through a Skewed Swarm is usually not going to work out. So could play Brain or equip it with haste. Alternatively... Maybe this Blade Master first. Attack, see what we draw. And I'm happy trading Akiri, I believe. Dancing Sword's not bad. Opponent takes it. So if I can trade off the sword to turn it into a flyer, we have a way to close out the game. But the ground is very much stalled. Oof, and a vast wood surge kicked. Yeah, I believe we're in trouble. So... Guess I take it and then hope to top deck all of the Skyclaves for the win. Is that my only out? I think it is. That doesn't look like a Mall of the Skyclaves to me. Yeah, I'm trying to think if there's some way for the Charger to die with 9 power. But I don't see that happening. So we can equip the boots for free. But that's not going to help. Yeah, I needed some evasion here, I guess.
All right, GG's. On to the next one. All right, we're on the draw with a fine hand. Good to one mana equipments. And then plenty of creatures to equip. Opponent on a blue rat's dice rolling deck. Play Blade Master, can equip it. And then next turn I might go Dancing Sword plus Equip and hit for a ton of damage. Opponent leveling up Barbarian class, so their creatures will have haste. So if we see Delina, she could do some scary things. I think I still like Dancing Sword Equip over Play Blade Master. So we're hitting for 6 damage. And so we're kind of hoping to find something like Brainor or maybe an extra equipment that increases power. For now, Blade Master gets to attack and we can play two more Blade Masters. Next turn I can also attack with the Den of the Bugbear. So double Pixie Guide in play plus a Barbarian class on level 3 means that if our opponent plays Delina we could just be dead out of nowhere here. And then might as well move this. So do they have the Lina? The Wild Mage. Doesn't look like it. Alright, never mind. There's the Lina. The Lina attacks and are we dead? Not yet. Oof, that was lucky. Opponent had four rolls to hit a 15 or more, and they didn't. And I'll happily trade for Delina, and our opponent concedes, because they're just dead on the way back. Yeah, our opponent had a pretty good chance of just comboing off here and making infinite uh, pixie guides to kill us, but they got pretty unlucky, so I'll take it. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a pretty decent hand. Double Boots of Speed, a little bit redundant with the Charger, but still a nice equipment to have. And I think we'll play the Boots here. Next turn, Charger Equip. Hit for two. And ideally draw land next turn. One is going to check for traps. They're not going to find any traps, just more creatures and equipment. I imagine it'll take the charger. Nope, it takes the Mall of Skyclaves. In that case, Dancing Sword is a more mana efficient play. Yeah, probably still makes sense. We have double red now, so we can potentially unload these later. I guess the other option would be to play the second charger and equip it with the boots so I can attack with both. Although that might run into a removal effect that can kill both chargers at once and I might prefer to be able to equip the sword. Now what do I do? Probably still charger double equip over champion. And then opponent takes 5 if they kill my chargers and we get to make a 2-1 flyer. So our opponent's in trouble. Gold span, probably gonna have to play defense. They might have a removal spell they can play with the 2 mana. If they don't, they're 
in a lot of trouble too. Akiri, pretty decent draw. Is it better than playing a champion and equipping it? It's close. I think we'll go with Akiri. Although I'm kind of expecting a removal spell here. Alright, it's not on Akiri at least. And yeah, opponent explodes. If they take five, they will eventually die to the chargers. And uh, now they have an Akiri to deal with as well. Sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a fine hand. Just need to draw land three and we're good to go. A warlock class. There's my land. And then hope to be able to play Akiri, attack, draw card, get the ball rolling. Opponent activates Warlock class. So pretty controlling deck. Ebon Death also a nice one to put in a graveyard. Alright, so hand shaping up nicely. Expecting Akiri to eat a removal spell. But we get to untap with a Nahiri. Which is nice in the more controlling matchups. Gonna be a cram session for environmental sciences. Well, Brainer equipped boots seems pretty strong. Maybe a little bit weak to a crippling fear. And yep, there it is. Although can still follow up with a hasty a dwarf hold champion perhaps and then next run give it flying to close out the game the other option would be fireblade charger sword equip fireblade charger Our opponent at a precarious 4 life. And Spider Queen actually lines up quite nicely here. Prevents Maul from being lethal. Although, let's see. At the very least, I can use Nahiri to take out the opponent's Planeswalker. If I can get Charger to 4 power, that's another surefire way to kill the opponent. So, yeah, if we equip Sword and Boots, that should do it. Because if the opponent takes it, they're dead, and if they block, they're dead. So that means they're dead. Alright, sweet. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play, and our hand looks good, if we can find a third land, that is. Charger into Blademaster, and then hopefully Dancing Sword equip next turn. Our opponent on Sultai with Emergent Sequence for ramp. So can expect to see Binding the Old Gaunts next turn. I luckily found our land. Po 
opponent already down to 11. If they kill my charger, I'll happily turn Dancing Sword into a 2-1 flyer. Also, they might just go for the Blade Master here. Goes for the sword itself. I have plenty of additional equipment in hand, luckily. Our opponent's at 3. If Charger dies, our opponent dies. And Maul can probably close out the game as well here. Alright, I take it back. And since our creature got exiled, the sword also didn't trigger. So that was the perfect answer. I guess Crippling Fear also would have done it since that reduces the uh, Charger's power so it doesn't deal any damage. Although in that case we still would have gotten a 2-1 flyer, which would have helped us get across the finish line. Field trip gets pest summoning. Well, at least I can equip my plate armor on the cheap. So any creature of the top turns into a real threat. Zimon to provide card advantage. Can equip this for free. And this for one mana. So now if Brainor dies, we get a flying sword. Plate armor firsts. And then the mall. I guess we can still equip this for free first. Just in case. Eureka moment to draw two. And with all the ward here, opponent will need land into Soul Shatter to survive. And our opponent explodes. Sweet. Alright, so we got to see our red-white equipment deck in action. And the additions from Forgotten Realms are definitely quite important, especially impressed by the leather armor. The one mana equipment we can move around for free enables a lot of great synergies with Akiri and the Brainor pumping our power as well. So that was one of the standout cards today. And then of course Brainor did a lot of work too. But uh, could still make some changes to the deck. For instance, I don't think the main deck copy of Nahiri is really necessary. Nahiri can be very good in the more grindy matchups, where she can provide a steady stream of tokens and maybe card advantage. Although her deck is inherently pretty good at grinding, since all her equipment means that a single creature can turn into a huge win condition. So I could easily see cutting Nahiri, maybe even a plate armor, for additional copies of Mall of the Skyclaves, which gives us a bit more evasion, or we could add some trample equipment, which can accomplish the same. So yeah, that's gonna do it for today's gameplay. Wanna thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also wanna thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.